Hey y'all, it's me Hattie and I know I hadn't had a video in a while, it's just been pretty crazy. Uh, if you do watch my videos, you know I've got a mother-in-law that lives in uh, Ohio, I live in Georgia, and my husband's the only child and we go back and forth to check on her. She's in assisted living, but you know, we just feel the need that we need to go up there every so often. So my husband and I do, and we do uh, little things on the list and all that. We've got her little condo to keep up and all that stuff too so it takes a lot of time I've got three teenage boys so it's just been pretty crazy so I'm going to show you a couple of little uh, easy things here okay and we're doing spaghetti squash obviously you saw the title don't knock it if you hadn't tried it I see a lot of people I've, I've given it to a lot of people and to, to eat and they're like oh my god I've walked past those things my whole life never knew how good they were so anyway the main pain in the butt pardon my french is cutting the things in half so you just take a, a spaghetti squash and you know get you a good surface don't stab yourself and what i kind of do is i just take see the stem area um i just kind of go in the middle of that and i start rocking i got a really sharp knife though so you got to be careful uh, I'd probably lay it out on a dish towel or something give you a little more traction on this end because it's as you can see it's, it's pretty smooth okay so obviously I've cut a couple of them in half and uh, I got something really yummy you're gonna want to stay tuned I'm gonna do this video and I'm gonna do it separate and I'm gonna do a couple in the microwave and that'll be another video uh, sorry my girl wants in she hears me talking I hadn't been here for a while talking so she's just crazy and uh, if you've made jack-o'-lanterns, then you know this is a squash, just like a pumpkin is. And you're going to just clean this out. There's a million videos on how to do that. It's so easy. You look, just get you a big old spoon and start pulling. All right? Then you just clean it up. You discard that. If you want to do a pain in the butt and toast those seeds, they're every bit as good as... I'm not doing that this time, but I have a million times. They're every bit uh, good as a pumpkin seed. And so anyway, you clean it up, looks like this, right? And I've got my oven preheated to 400. And what I'm gonna do here, my hands are clean. I've just got, I've got, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on here. Not a million tablespoons or anything, just barely a drizzle. And you see, I'm gonna rub that, all right? I'm gonna do the same thing again, just barely, that's not even, probably a little over a quarter of a teaspoon. See, you just roast it like that. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put them face down, uh, a little salt and pepper too, to your liking. I wouldn't overdo it at this stage. I would actually like to, I prefer to season mine after it's done. But sometimes I come along here and I just do a little, this is almost empty, I'm, uh, I just do a little shake. And then I add a little bit of, I'll have to do this left handed so I'm probably not very good. I add a little bit of salt. Not, not a whole lot, because y'all know I try to watch salt. So I just go over it like that, okay? And then like I said, uh, you're gonna put them face down, and my oven is at 400 degrees, preheated, and it's gonna take anywhere from about, I don't know, I'd say about 40 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. And what you wanna do is, now this is sharp knife, so I'm not, I'm not really gonna, uh, but if this was done, I'd be able to pretty much take a butter knife and just slit it down in there. And if this skin cuts, it's done, okay? If it's get with no effort, if you have to push, then you need to leave it in another five or six minutes. But if it just slides in, no effort, it's done. And then um, I'm gonna put these in, I've gotta finish doing this one, and I've gotta clean this one and throw it on the cookie sheet. But when these are done, I'll tell you how long it took and then we'll go to the next step, okay? And I'll show you what to do. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And uh, these are the ones done in the oven. They're still very, very hot, hot to the touch. And there they are, I'd season these with salt and pepper and just a drizzle of olive oil, whoo, they're hot. And, uh, but here's the fun part that I like to do. I did it. Uh, I'm shooting two videos right now. I'm doing one in the microwave and I did these. And then my next video will be what I'm gonna do with the spaghetti swap show. Stay tuned, okay? All right, here's the fun part. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? 
these are so good done this way. And I said this in the other video too, but what if you don't watch it? What if you just want to do yours in the oven like this? They're so fluffy. Uh, a lot of people just fluff it up here in the middle. And I have done this, but I'm not doing it tonight. And they don't go all the way to the edge. They kind of leave it there. They fluff it up and they season it. I seasoned mine some, but you probably want to taste it and see if you need to season it more. And then they come in and they put their marinara sauce and their Parmesan cheese or the uh, whatever kind of cheese you're going to put on it. Uh, and they just put that on a plate and eat that like that. But I'm not going to do that tonight. So anyway, look at that. All of them, just perfect. Look at that. Can't beat that. Came out. Couldn't have been more perfect. Oh, and I told you I'd tell you that time. The time for me was, let's see, the time for me was right at about 52 minutes. But like I said, everybody's oven is different. So everybody's oven is different. And you will have to learn your time for spaghetti squash. This is something you really want to do. You got to remember I'm doing two. You might be doing one. So I'd start at 45 minutes, and like I said, either take a fork or a butter knife, and when you're done, you should, when they're done, you should be able to just pierce it like that. Okay? All right. Well, this is it for oven-roasted spaghetti squash. All right? I'll see you next time, and, and, and as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe below. Tell all your friends. I'm trying to get the word out there. My second anniversary is coming up in August. So, first week of August, so I'm really trying to break a thousand there. I'd, I'd love to do that. I can do it with your help. So, if you'll share videos and maybe give the link to friends to my channel and stuff like that, I'd sure appreciate it, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.